Hello, this is Dan Bashenbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook business ad account. So let's go to our Facebook page. All right, so we're going to go to this URL here, business.facebook.com. And it says here, your, here's your business manager to manage ads account, pages, apps, and other people who work on them. And it's free. So click on create account and you'll see here that you can manage your ads, pages and apps all in one place. Request access to ad accounts and pages. Give the people you work with specific roles and permissions. Organize and streamline your overall advertising effort. So put in the business name that you want to be represented as. Click on continue. Then fill in your first name, your last name and your business email address and your business email address should be associated with a website. Facebook doesn't like it when you just use a Gmail or a Yahoo email account here. Click on finish. Now you can click on the setup guide or in my case I'm just going to go over here to settings. So I'm going to select here to uh, make sure I get my notifications up to preferences and I'm going to leave these at all notifications. I'm going to click on the People and Assets tab. Come down here to Pages. Click on Pages. I'm going to click on a Add New Page. All right, so I'm going to claim my business page of Video Pizzazz LLC. So I'll click here. All right, so I'm just going to type in the name of my company, Video Space Pizzazz. And then it shows up right here. So I'll click on this. Click on Claim Page. And since I was already a page administrator, the request has been approved automatically. Click on OK. And my page comes in right here. You can view history. I can add people as ad administrators of this page if I wish. I can assign a partner if I wish. I'm not going to do either one of those today. Now if I click on people here, it'll show me as the admin with my email address and I have one page assigned to me right now video pizzazz and now I want to add an account so I'll come over here come down here to add accounts click that click on add new ad account we're gonna come down here and click on create a new ad account and I'm gonna call this ad account name video pizzazz advertising on the behalf of video pizzazz LLC. There's nothing else in here. Select your time zone, select your currency, and click on create ad account. We'll add people to Video Pizzazz. So I'll search for Dan Fashionbauer. All right, we just clicked on skip. And it says you've created an ad, new ad account. So we'll click on OK here. Go back to my people account here. Now I have one page and I have add account. Then we'll go up to payments, add a payment method, and put in your credit card information. All right, so enter in your credit card information and click on confirm. Okay, so now it says here no ads account has been connected to this primary method to connect an ads account to this primary method please select an ad account and use ads manager to change its primary payment method okay so now we're going to assign assets for our ad account so if we click on people and you'll see me as the admin come over here and click on assign assets click on add accounts and then select the ad account select the what you want to do with that account I'm going to be the account admin click on save changes it says now you've assigned one ad account to Dan Fashionbauer so Dan Fashionbauer need to advertise Dan Fashionbauer has access to one page assign another page and I can click on close and then click on ads manager and expand this all tools section here and then come over to billing and payment methods 
click on add payment method and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say select the payment method from business manager click on continue again we're going to click on ads manager here come down expand all tools and come over here and click on add account settings so it looks like we need to fill out the account information our ad account rules our account notifications and our ad email notifications and our ad notifications on Facebook so let's fill out this information here all right so then fill out your account information with your tax ID number key as up here is are you buying Facebook ads for a business purpose In my case I'm saying yes are you an agency buying ads on behalf of an advertiser in my case it's no so I can click on save changes and then I'll scroll down and see what else I have here you are the admin of this account you can manage all aspects of campaigns reporting billing and user permissions I'll leave that alone account notifications are on and here's all the email notifications I will get be emailed to my website address and for the ad notifications on Facebook you can have what are approved not approved out of money all that kind of good stuff now let's create a business manager Facebook pixel so there's two ways of getting to the pixel generator you can select this guy here click on pixels right here or go to all tools and pixels right here so I'll just select pixels here we're gonna click here to create a pixel and you'll see here that there's only one pixel per ad account so choose a name that represents your business and it defaulted to video pizzazz as pixel and that's fine and I will click on create a pixel Facebook has now changed their way of implementing pixels they only give you one pixel now for conversion tracking optimization and remarketing and you have to put in keywords inside that pixel to monitor different aspects of your campaign it says here with the same pixel you have been using to create custom audiences you can now view website traffic from the pixel and use the pixel for conversion tracking and optimization in addition to remarketing now if you want to see your pixel code you click on actions view pixel code and here's the pixel code that you need to copy and paste on your landing pages or your website or wherever you want to track your Facebook pixel activity so we're going to click on done here but now if you want to learn more about using the Facebook pixel and conversion events you can click here and then this describes all the different add-on tracking mechanisms that you can have on your your pixel tracking area all right so let's say we want to track a lead that hits our thank you page so we would copy this code here and then here's our original Facebook pixel code that we got from um, our pull down so where it says script here, you want to put your cursor right in front of that, right after the semicolon, hit a return. And then you want to paste in your lead code right there. And so now this is going to track your page view and it's also going to track your lead because we took that code right out of here. Now you can take the code out of any one of these other functions and have it uh, track that if you'd like. So now if you grab this whole entire Facebook pixel code here now, copy and paste that onto your thank you page. Now every time somebody lands on your thank you page, it, it'll get tracked as a lead with the Facebook pixel. Okay, so I hope you found that useful as far as setting up your Facebook business ad account. See you in the next video. Bye for now.